little of this. Uh, do you know how to open the piano thing? You want to open it and play? Oh. What's your name? <laughs> Where are we? Who are we visiting today? Say it again. Uncle Mike? Oh, yeah. Right, Uncle Mike and Aunt Lisa. And what's that instrument you're playing over here? You want to get on the piano and play it? No? There you go. Maybe you should start taking lessons, huh? You're practically an old lady. How old are you again? Wait a second. How old are you? Three. Okay. Got it. Light there. Let me see if I can overcome that backlight. I don't think so. Yeah. Testing out the new camera here, though. I do have the lens cover off, don't I? <laughs> that takes care of the backlight. Shooting from outside. There he goes, Brendan. There he goes. Whoa. R. Neener, neener. There's Brenda and Frankie. Oh, there's Mike. He's got his red hot mama apron on or something. <laughs> there we go. Last of the red. Hang on a second. Last of the red hot. It's Frank's red hot sauce. Oh, it's Frank's red hot sauce. Never heard of it? Oh, uh, never heard of it. Oh, it's a big hot sauce in the east. Oh, in the east. He's making it up as he goes along. <laughs> It is. Never heard of it. I can't believe you guys haven't heard of Frank's Red Hot Sauce. No, not Frank's. For, for Hot Wings. For Hot Links. Hot Wings out here? You're going to run out of I think they already put the hot in the Hot Links when they make them. Yes, we have Hot Wings out here. Okay. Yeah, we just had them today. <laughs> I had the Hot Link in Temecula. Go back at that head. Wow. Well. Hey, okay, that's good. That, oh, wow. Oh, look at guys. that. Stand right there, babe, and look at... There you go. All right. Look, yeah, that's good. Oh, wait till we get home and we open all these eggs and get all the candy. It's, it's clear. All clear. <laughs> There you go. Very nice. I bet you do. Wow. Oh, wait. That's okay. <laughs>
Don't worry about it. It's video. Hey, Daddy's going to go up there with you. Not this one, but the other one. There you go. Oh. <laughs> All right. There we go. There we go. Make way for the. Well, let's go see You guys get his cookie? Oh, swell. All right. All right, hang on. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I don't think that Lauren's going to come Maybe stand next to him? Yeah. All right. So just easy stuff. Yeah. Cinderella. 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 You do? Do you know the song? Can you sing the song? Come on over this. Yeah. Everybody sit down. I was making that stuff in my house yesterday. When you fry it, I swear to God. I love you, Diego. Nice meeting you, too. You know what I like making? Oriental chicken. You know what I like making? The chicken and the, uh, you know when you fry that and you put the salad?
sell those lobsters? Yeah, that's where I go to. I always get lobsters over there. Yeah, I'm here at the supermarket right here. Number one from Mona Supermarket. Yeah, I go there.
side will go up this way in the middle and another I close in here and you put finger in the inside and wrap them here go I close I have been made and I put it in the frying pan with the already preheat with the oil in there and then continue to wrap and then fry and wrap and fry and ready to eat how long does it stay in the fry? How long do you fry it for? How long do you fry? It depends on the pan. You fry from the... Depends on the pan? It's hard as that. You pan on the, the yeah. frying pan, you know? Still slow, you know that? Still very slow. <coughs> now someone wants to learn how to wrap it, you can... Uh, Get this one here, over here, and wrap it. You can stand here to wrap it. Okay. How much do I use? Okay, you stand this side, and then I hope. This is hard. Yeah. Open it. It's a UF one. You put the, the, the smooth side there, this way, okay? Smooth side this way? Uh-huh. This one is right. You put it in the middle. Oh, right? okay. okay. Now here. This on one side. Oh, that explains why they're yeah. called egg rolls. Uh huh. <laughs> now, and you get about this much. Put in here, right? Mm -hmm. Not too many, not too little. You form it like this. Okay? You save here about one quarter here. Yeah? And from the bottom up, put your finger on here. Yeah? When you wrap it, you need to wrap it firm. Otherwise, the oil stay in the middle. Okay. okay. Here, you put this again. Now you put your finger in here and wrap it. See? Okay. You touch it. You touch it. Who did you learn how to, how did you learn how to make egg rolls? How to make egg rolls? Yeah. This is my culture and my my country the best food for my country. Yeah. When you have a party or any party, you make this kind of egg rolls. <coughs> you feed your people too.
was born and uh, grown up in Vietnam during the war. During the war? During the Second War. Yeah. And you, you learn in the history that my countries uh, have a little war for many, many years. a lot when I'm talking uh, with the people about how I escaped my country. <coughs> my family have a 10 brother and sister and the communists in 1954, 1946. They killed my three brothers, my older brothers. That's why I have to move from the north to the south in 1954. And after 1954, 1975, Communists took South Vietnam. That's why we tried a way to escape from our country. Our family here, we have a four son. And when we escape our country, by the boat. And we are the boat people. Did you hear that about the boat people? Yeah. I have to make decisions, very difficult decisions, to, uh, to leave my country save my children. Because after 1975, the company took South Vietnam already, and they uh, recruit the soldiers go to Cambodia to, uh, to, uh, to fight in the Cambodia. So if I don't escape earlier, no one wants to practice. Come to hell, otherwise we don't have a crow to eat.
nine months. I didn't have money, but I borrowed people one hundred dollars to buy a machine, an Eels machine, sewing machine, to do business over there. And before leaving two weeks, I sold them again to, to return the money. And before I came in here, I came here. We bought our, we made our new clothes. We save money to buy gold, <laughs> to, uh, new shoes. I make new um, suit for my husband and for my son. And we came here, we still save money to this country. And when we first came here, I attended uh, Chelsea College for my education. In the weekend and at night time, we sewing. My husband and I sewing. Get the clothes from the, from, from the, from the, what do you call that? From the... Goodwill? Or? No, from, uh, what do you call that? The contractor. To oh. sew at home. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to sew at home during the weekend and then go to school. After attending Chaffee College of a, a few weeks, and then they know that I have a skill in um, helping people. Mm. I have skills in math and English. So they hire me as a student worker at Chaffee College during um, attending school over there. How did you learn English? I learned English in my country when I was in high school. I taught English in my country. I taught math and I taught the science and English oh. in my country. Wow. But when I came here, I didn't understand English from from people here. Yeah. I learn English from people in um, in the British England. So uh -huh. the accent and pronunciation are totally different. I couldn't understand at first. But when working on one and one, I'm very easy to have the student. When I work at Chelsea College, building attending school over there. So and I graduated Chelsea College. AA degrees in 1984. Then I went to uh, Cal State Long Beach for my vocational teaching credential for one year. And I was not a good driver. I drove in the locally one hour 45 minutes from here to Long Beach at night time. Wow. I have class from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. But I have to leave home at 5 p.m. What is that? Then when 10 o'clock, class over, I got home almost 12 midnight for 12 months like that to get my, my, my credential. And luckily that I got a job here at Berkeley High School since 1985. And until now, 1985. You, you've been here since 1985? Yes, yes. The first quarter I worked at Chaffee School District. You're right? Yes. I need my uh, more degree to be a teacher. But I'm working um, with students as uh, teaching them how to make sentences, how to solve a problem, math, from basic to algebra, and uh, tutoring after school. So any of you have a problem with math? You're good at math? I'm very good at math. All right. My well, major is math. Know. And in my country, when I was young, when I was 14 years old, I earned money to support myself. Because my country war, 
years as a private home tutoring, then 17 years I taught in a private middle school, and uh, 21, two years old, I became a public high school teacher. During I'm being a teacher, I still go into school <laughs> for my, um, for my uh, pharmacy degrees. So I, you know, I have full-time teacher and full-time school. I have a children at that time, but uh, we have uh, two people to help at home. One taking care of the children, and one taking care of the house, housekeeping and cooking and the yard work. So, you know, I just have two jobs at the school to work, to teach, and then school for my schooling. But until the communists came, they kick us out. They ask you to move right the next day. They don't want you. where you live, but they want you to move out. That's where they are. Everything the told them. Came in and told you to move out. Move out. They took our house. They kicked us out. How old were you then? At that time? No, I'm 40. At that time, I had all four children already. Oh. Yeah, 1975. At that time, I am almost 1980, 1975, I am 35. And, you know. And when I came here, I was about 40. And now I'm 21 years in this country. I'm over 60 now. But I am very happy in this country. My children came here, and my husband came here, and uh, all my children graduated from Montclair High School. Oh, they did? Uh huh, and graduated college. And one married already. Another one, the second one, graduated from Cal Poly. He worked for four or five years. He bought a house, but now he wants to quit the job, go to school again, to be uh, in medical school. Yes. So he will be accepted. I will be uh, admitted to the school this summer. I am very happy that my family has been here. And we are very grateful for American people and America to help our family.
never give up in our schooling, never give up education. And you know that when you have education, you have knowledge, you can do everything. You don't need money. You know that when I left our country, you don't have money at all. No money, no money. But we know that if you want to, to be in a free country and you need to work hard, you can be alive. If you have knowledge, you can do everything you want. So education is a very, very important for people. So please stay in school and get your high school diploma and go further, go to college. All my son graduated from high school and graduated from college. And now one of them continue to go higher in college. Okay? I'm so sorry that when we talk with you, when I'm thinking about I'm leaving my country, things get stuck to my neck. I'm so sorry, I could not tell you clearly, but you know, that is my very emotional. Yeah. When I work here at Montclair, I work with Mr. Smith, Jim Smith. He's teaching uh, ERD student and ESL student, and I work with him 10 or 12 years. Every year, he shows students in May, in, in April. In April is our sad month, because on the 30th of the April, we lost our country. We lost uh, the south of Vietnam to the communists. That's why very sad story for us. So Mr. Mr. Smith showed to the students the videos about the last flyout from our country. When he turned on, he showed to the student and he sat there to, to cry to. I, I was very sad, but I couldn't cry anymore because I cry a lot. But I appreciate that he shared my life, she shared my story to the student. And he wrote my student about how to escape from Vietnam, how to escape our country, and why I escape uh, my country. And he put on the internet. If you're interested to see it, you can ask him. He gave you the, uh, the code, the, the, the mail number, and then you can operate and see the story about my escaping from my country. student and other students too and other communities to pay back that what I got for my family. We, we are here safety from the very risky uh, trip over the ocean and we all got here safety and then the whole family are here. I am very thankful and very grateful for that. I just wish I have a good help enough help to work and helping people. My husband
Thank you for sharing your story. It's, well, it's amazing what you've done. You, you escaped from a country that was persecuting you, wanting that, well, wanted you, your family, to fight for you, fight for something you didn't believe in, or not. At first, my husband very scared. He told me that.
You have to remember Montclair is... Safety city. No, I heard that Montclair was nicer. Well, Montclair was an agricultural center. It's slowly becoming an industrial city. That's the danger. by the 15 second rule. <laughs> if it's on the floor less than 15 seconds, it's still good. Now just stop and turn this way. That's good. That's a nice still. Hold that. Good. All right, continue moving then. Go ahead. I'll get into a, what do I got over here? Uh, come that way a little. Just kind of walk over there. Okay. That's a good shot. Oh, oh, oh get back there, Scott. You know, Andrea, stay right where you are, Scott. Yep. Let me zoom in on this. This is good from here. Hold that. Okay, nice picture, okay, an almost full shot, we got the cuckoo clock, okay, now you can do some movement again if you want, rotate into another pose, and a full shot, hold that, and hold that. Okay, that's good. Smiling. Good. Let's hold that. That's a good pose. Let me get a close-up of it. All right. Hold that. Let me get a full shot. Good. 
I know, this is tough. This is the difficult part. Hold that. Oh, yeah. At my house. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds good. All right. Let's get a shot of you there. That's a good shot. Let's hold that. Cool. All right. All right. Yep, it is video. That's cool. Need head cleaning. Huh? Cool. Okay. All right. Scott and Andrea by the Rose Garden. Yeah. The trellis just isn't full enough yet. That's cool, though. All right. Yeah. Scott and Andrea well, leaving the Rose Garden. The night blooming jasmines. All right. Let me get a close up. All right. Ever. There is dead frags. We're aiming in that general direction. Okay. <laughs> oh, he's over there. Oh, over here. Proud. Whoa. All right, we have a spotter. If it explodes towards me, somebody say something. Angela, there she is, our model, famous movie star. Yes, everybody. Oh yes, that's that Miss America wave. Good job, Debbie. There you go. Definitely. There he is. Big Mike. Mike going there, checking it out. <laughs> oh, man, the whole crowd. This is the whole crowd at Matt's house. Kicking here. Watching the fireworks are starting very shortly. Actually, some of the preliminaries have already begun. <laughs> All right, there's the, the two stars. The final finale. What's Matt doing over there? Putting a bet down or something? There's a shot of the sunset. Yeah, right by Matt's house. All right, there's the old Lincoln. Oh, no, Lincoln. you guys have fun over there getting shot. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that sunset. Ooh, ooh. I don't see the sun yet, though. Oh, that's actually, this is video. So that's right, I don't have the still. There you go. It's live. Yep. HSD. That means Chafee Joint Union That's a winner. Wow. That's cool. You are going to let me know ahead of time.
You talking to me? You talking to me? One of them. Oh, hang on. It's not. The, it's not the biggest big one. It's, not the big it's one like that. Apparently, those are Italian fire fireworks. They, <laughs> they're big and they go for a long time. I don't know. That's, a, that's what I was told. <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing is, everyone's laughing. I just. They did what? I just was asking the guy. He said, "Oh yeah, you got to get that Italian one." <laughs> yep. What are you going to do? That one's doing nicely.